Welcome back to Rock Solid Rig. This is the second video that we are giving you from our trip down near Fredericksburg. And for this one, we are going to focus strictly on the James River Crossing. This is a fun little area that you can go to if you are looking to play around on some rocks or if you're looking at just enjoying the river itself without actually floating it. Overall, this place is really awesome. And before we get further, if you guys don't mind, make sure you click that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner of this video. Give us a thumbs up if you like what we're doing. It really does help our channel a lot whenever you do that. And as always, don't forget to click that notification bell. It'll let you know whenever we've dropped new content for you. So the James River is a crossing that is along the route that we showed you beforehand, which was part of the Texas Hill Country route. And if you haven't seen that video, make sure you check that out. It was one that we did for our anniversary, just like this video is part of that anniversary series as well. Now the James River Crossing is somewhere that you can go and hang out if you want to, or you can just spend about an hour playing around on the rocks. As you can see here, we were able to drive on several different rocks and climb over several different things. So it's not just somewhere for you to go and drive through. The other thing that's really cool is on the way here, if you're coming from Fredericksburg, there's actually a little uh, bat cave area that you can check out too. And while we didn't get the chance to do that, it's something that you can do with your family or with some friends. If you're feeling a little adventurous like we were feeling and just because you can see the water very clearly doesn't necessarily mean that you can drive very far into the actual river so what you see here is Josh and I are navigating where he can place his tires within this water you'll see that the water is just turning black and that's from just sediment moving around some of this looks as though it could potentially just be rock. However, you do want to take into consideration if you are trying to get some water pictures or some footage within the water. While it doesn't look very deep from where you're standing, you might want to walk into the areas that you are trying to navigate if you have somebody that can get out and do it. I personally was out there in my flip flops and trying to tell Josh where he could put his tires. And while we safely got out, there are some spots where it potentially could have led to something more serious. And so not to discourage anyone from having fun and doing things while they're out and about, but you do want to really keep in mind, number one, that some of this stuff is not drivable. And number two, that some of this stuff is not exactly what it looks like either. It could be a lot deeper than what you're thinking or it could be a lot slicker than what you're thinking as well. So just keep those things in mind whenever you're playing around in this area. Once you reach the other side of James River, there are some rocks that you can continue to play on over here on the left hand side of the road. Just make sure that you are staying out of the vegetation, not only for your vehicle, but just for the ecosystem as well. I know we showed that we're playing around in a lot of the water, but we took into consideration a lot of the vegetation that was around us and avoided it as much as we possibly could. Now, there are various levels of rocks here, so you'll want to make sure you have somebody that can spot you. So one of the things that we did is I would get out and I would stand on the next level down from the rocks, show Josh just how far down it was, and he would decide whether or not he could actually make it off of the rocks. We were not disconnected or aired down for any of this. And so if you do decide you want to do something a little bit more hardcore, just make sure that you're taking the necessary precautions for your vehicle so that you aren't potentially causing any damage that could have been avoided.
had the perfect end to the perfect anniversary weekend. We stopped to take pictures at a location immediately after the river. So once you cross James River, this is not that far afterwards. We were fortunate that we were able to take pictures and get some really good footage of us being in this location. And it was just gorgeous. Words can't really describe just how beautiful it looked. All along the Texas Hill Country and James Rivers route, there are signs that are posted telling you where private property is located and where you can and can't drive. There are even some physical barriers that are set up to prevent you from going places. So before you decide to deviate off of any roads, make sure that you're checking for these prior to doing any of this. We hope that you guys have really enjoyed these videos that we've been putting out for you. We appreciate your support and all of the feedback and the comments that we've received from you guys. If it weren't for you guys, we wouldn't have this channel and we wouldn't be where we are today. And we just appreciate you guys more than you know. The fact that we have the opportunity to bring you along this journey of our adventures and the things that we're doing as a newlywed couple with our Jeep is just a dream come true and so we hope that you guys are enjoying the content that we're putting out for you that you're enjoying the things that we're doing and if you have any comments or feedback or if there's something that you want to see just let us know in the comments below and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to our channel you can do that at the bottom right hand corner of this video Make sure you give us a thumbs up. That really helps us out in the long run with all of the different YouTube analytics and just trying to get ourselves out there as much as we possibly can. And last but not least, make sure that you're clicking that notification bell. It'll let you know when we drop something new, which we are trying to do for you guys on a regular basis, just showing all the different adventures that we're able to go on. Of course, until next time, we really appreciate you guys and just keep on jeeping.